Hey yo, what's good? What's going on everyone, everywhere? Yo, it is late, so bear with me. I'm about to go ahead and switch to nature power after this. And if you don't know, after nature comes sorcery. After sorcery, it's gonna be electric, all right? And we're gonna finish out this cycle of healer powers for this year, all right? But look, without further ado, we're gonna get into these PVP and dueling loadouts, all right? They're pretty much gonna be the exact same in terms of for the PVP or the duels. Um, you can tweak them to your liking, of course, but these are generally what you're gonna wanna use for playing PVP and DCO, okay? So, without further ado, let's go get into it. Um, show you, you know, some of the gear. You don't really got no tactical mods, nothing like that. Um, ooh. There we go, yeah. I get the martial arts right now, but I'm gonna go to the shield, okay? If you don't know, a lot, um, some people start to pick up, I think, cause I said something earlier, but with shield, uh, let me show y'all a little combo joint right quick. Now with shield, all these, like the tap hold, you just do that repeatedly, all right? Do tap hold, and you're gonna get through all these different ones, the spinning downward, overhead, shield uppercut, Devastating kit, you're gonna get through all of them just by tapping and holding. Just literally tap, hold, tap, hold the whole thing. You're gonna do the whole combo just like that. And you do a lot of damage real quick. And you wanna have short combos because you know people like to block, you know, timing is very key or DC, but the timing's also off a little bit. Alright, it's a weird, weird delay. So I'm using martial arts now. A rifle is another good one, but for water, I recommend to use probably shield, okay, or one-handed. All right. Now, in terms of trinkets, it just depends. Now, you already know the only trinket you're gonna be able to use in PvP arenas is gonna be your breakout trinket. But for duels, man, it just depends. Normally, you don't use trinkets like that. All right for you know respect and not but if you going all out definitely get your own max so you just you know build up you know toughen up type deal the sidekick does a lot of stuff for you especially if you've got to upgrade it in your mainframe or your base does a lot of stuff for you you could use your backup too they just don't put out a lot of damage but the sidekick puts out damage it stuns them um you know gives you a shield gives you health gives you power all that good stuff And then your, your supply drop, come on now, that's supply drop. Healing, power, damage, it's just just that. Now, for in terms of dueling, dueling is where these artifacts don't come into play, not the arenas. Arenas, you ain't got no artifacts. Now for dueling, you already know, standard stuff, transformation card, get our crits up. Hopefully we crit them and end them. It's pretty much it. Strategist card, get that dot on them, man. It's gonna be a nice good dot. Do some major damage on them too. Sometimes it does that PvE damage, but you still in PvP type deal, you feel me? And then the amulet, man, the suicide artifact, whatever you wanna call it. This does a lot of stuff, cause you don't know already, whenever you hit your 35 percenter, no matter if you, as long as you hit something, you get hell. Like look, I ain't hit nothing. You ain't hit nothing for nothing. But if I took some damage, I'll get health just by doing that right there. That's all you got to do. Now let me get our combat. There we go. So the amulet is definitely a major key, a major player when you're in duels. Now, if you don't like to do it like that, right? If you don't want to go that route, you don't want to do that. I would definitely recommend the Grim for pretty much, pretty much all of the cases. Um, Quizlet could be good, but just know with Quizlet, that's more like if you're trying to make the pet do more damage on like a per hit kind of thing, and if you're actually going to hit a supercharger during this duel, which most duels you don't really run superchargers, so hey, but it's on you as to how you want to go about it, all right? But the Grim is pretty much going to be your better bet on most cases. <clears throat> now, in terms of 
well in terms of stats this is how i'm looking right now for all my stats and this all pvp gear no no op pieces no nothing like that all right now if you are dueling i do recommend any op pieces you have so like the op neck the op back things of that nature even the little rings too so they're kind of like semi op the uh, robin acrobatic rings I recommend you go ahead and put them on when you are dueling. Just give that a little bit of extra, okay? Now, you may be wondering, Trey, what's going on? You got a lot of skill points. Why are your stats so low? I'm going to get to that here in a sec. But let's go ahead and go on to these augments real quick. Now, augments are solely dependent on what you do, per se. Now, I also heal and I do damage. Okay, so I kind of have like a little mixed hybrid build going on. Now, if you're trying to, you know, do more damage, definitely switch this bad boy out for, you know, precision one and be good to go. Do a blend of might and precision. Okay, when you're PvP. And then for these, I pretty much like to do a, a blend mixture. Pretty much get some of your higher ones and then get in with some lower ones. You know what I mean? Get definitely use the highest that you have available. But I say lower ones because it's like one of my highest precision ones, one of my highest um, rest, you know, healing restoration ones. So definitely mix that up. See what you got the highest of, and just put those, you know, up there that you have the highest. Once again, do a blend of might and precision. If you're just doing straight damage, now if you're healing. I'll probably put in another healing one. I'll reply, replace that one for healing. And especially with water. Yeah, I would definitely just place one. I will leave one might. And I only say leave one might and leave one precision just because you're still going to use your weapon. So precision is going to be key there. But for the might, for the vortex trap, which you're going to use, okay, that's going to be. A good good element to go ahead and incorporate there now for allies I don't know why my thing didn't save again but for allies you know whether you're dueling whether you're, you're doing whatever all right they're not gonna matter of course but luck of the draw well, I mean not gonna matter like a PvP arenas but in terms of dueling you know you want the luck of the draw all right cloak of ensnare is what's gonna get you damage mitigation feel me might and precision it's just amazing so definitely definitely get that for you okay then i recommend you go use the house of legends bot just because it stuns them like crazy with that little um hand blasters pulse meme that it does it stuns them like crazy if this once again if you do use allies and your duels normally you're not going to but for some reason if you do go ahead and use that combo right there now in terms of weapon i recommend that you fully get all the weapon masteries of your weapon of choice now i recommend this for in terms of water you go martial arts one-handed or shield i personally want to move towards shield but that's just me that's the play style i want to go towards okay it is completely and utterly on you and what weapon you want to use. Now, mind you, I always recommend quick combos. So just like the like two button taps kind of combos or maybe potentially three. Just in case so the people don't block you and you're not falling on your behind. All that good stuff. All right. So choose whatever weapon, but I already get my personal recommendations. All right. Now, for super speed, I like to max everything out when it comes to this, just because you're not going to need it all, but definitely get your, your breakouts and your strengths here, especially for PvP. Definitely get some power back when you are breaking out, because you're going to be breaking out presumably quite a bit, you know, over the course of your PvP career. All right, and it's just nice to have all the different um, abilities, superchargers, whatever the case may be, at your disposal. Especially something in super speed, I like metabolic boost is amazing. It's a free breakout from control effects like a trinket and restores health over time. It's incredible in PvP. So definitely take that in consideration. Alright. 
dash attack is pretty good too because it does give you a shield for part of it break you out of control effects you know stuff like that now iconics i once again i get everything one that is because i am a person with a lot of skill points but two i like to have multiple things at my disposal because someone's getting accustomed to how i fight mind you i try to adapt my fighting style to them now if they're trying to you know adapt to me and one night and for some reason i'm having trouble i may throw an oddball i may put a batarang multi-shot right here okay because i might you know it stuns them knocks them down stuff like that I'm going to put an Amazon deflection. Now, a lot of people actually do use Amazon deflection, especially on some bat caves to stay on the node. You know, you, you always want to just, you know, have some of your disposal. Word of power is excellent when in PvP, especially if you're healing. You get power back to your whole group. Power is king when it comes to PvP. I'm going to say that again. Power is the king when it comes to PvP. And this heals you and restores power time to you and your group members. So it's going to heal yourself and your power times to the rest of the group. All right. Come on. Word of power is just almost mandatory, especially when you're doing like an eight player kind of deal and you're another healer. Almost mandatory right there. Um, Pheromone Blooms, excellent one to use. Definitely get you a hard light shield. All right. If you're not if you're not high on skill points like that and you just need something, get you hard light shield you're not gonna regret it and get you some super strength all right now in terms of stats once again let me go ahead and break this all down for y'all now it's pvp i said power is king and i mean that go super power focus because you want the extra 25 percent power regeneration now the might and the power is also good little added benefits no you don't want to go hybrid because you're gonna run out of power very quickly. All right, you're gonna notice that very quickly. And weapons expert, you're losing 25% more power generation. If you look, if you build like that, you build like that. But if you come up against some mental and gadgets, all this other stuff, you ain't gonna want this. That's not gonna do nothing for you besides just kill you. You want to stick it out so you you know outsmart them and outmaneuver them in their own mechanics. All right, so get you super powered. Now, if you're more going on the damage side, just focus on your critical chance and damage and only spec the maximum amount is up to a hundred in these specific, um, you know, stats here. OK, all the bottom two rows, you can only do a hundred. All right. And you only do a hundred because of the buffs that you get when you spec into 100 if you go anything past 100 you don't get those buffs you get whatever your stat is now you specking just maximum amount to 100 like i do here for mind power the mind power that i get from getting the 100 spec and in the in you know in the content in the arena buff right when you go into an arena you get a buff if you're only specced at 100 the amount of stats you get from that buff puts you well over the amount that you would have if I fully spec this out to the maximum 325. All right. It is greater than that. So all you want to do, don't you waste your skill points. It helps y'all with lower skill points out. Just spec into 100 of it. Done. You're good to go. You can get more power, more might than you ever would if you fully max this out. So, and let's say you don't have enough skill points to go to 100. You just want to do like how I did here with dominance and just go to 10. Do increments of 10. That's how you get the buffs. The buffs are stair stepped in groups of 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, etc., all the way to 100. Now, if you get to 110, 120, you're not getting no buffs, man. You're getting straight what you got. That is it. So that is why you see me over here and my precision to 100, my power 100, health 100, restoration 100. All right. Now, in terms of importance, though, I'm going to go ahead and lay this out for y'all. Importance, might and power, very important because power is very important. All right. No matter if you're healing or doing damage, important power is king. So 
With that being said, I would say it's a, it's a strong likelihood. I would definitely spec at least the one skill point and then the 10 skill points into health, okay? And then go ahead, if you're healing, go resto. If you're doing damage, go precision, all right? And do that. If you're doing a mix like me, hey, try to even it out. And then once you got both of these resto and precision up, go ahead, go back to your health, get that up after health. I recommend at least putting, you know, a little bit in dominance so the stuns do actually, you know, stun them. And sometimes you can hard stun somebody a whole lot easier. And then get vitalization. Vitalizations only last because these other stats are, you know, more important. But Vite does very, very small. It's almost not noticeable, but it does help to a very small degree in terms of when you're hitting your weapon, getting your power back, okay? So, just let y'all know on that. In terms of loadout for our damage loadout, we're gonna pretty much keep it simple. I like to use low power cost loadouts, okay? That do a lot of high damage. Now, this is gonna be the most power efficient loadout and highest damage loadout for PvP. I ran a lot of arenas. I did some duels with this. I was even killing out some mental people, man. It was funny. And those who I kill, you know, slaughtered out with this, <laughs> you already know. Well, look, enough trash talk, enough, you know, of that nonsense. We got the aquatic arsenal. If you don't know what this is, it's pretty much gonna be your sword right here. It's a full out combo. That's the combo right there. I think it does about five, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. You tap melee four additional times on top of the first one that you did, so that's five all together. And it does a lot of damage. It actually does more damage to high tide, okay? And um, ebb and flow. One, because you have so many combos, and two, it hits very hard. Especially for a 100 power cost power. This, you're pretty much gonna spam like crazy being a DPS. Now, Shark Frenzy, Shark Frenzy is just good. It's just a good water power. It hits hard as could be. Think of it like nature, savage growth, or electric, electro burst, all right? Just hits hard, don't need no power interaction associated with it. It's just a hard hitting move. It's only 200 power cost too. It's perfect for this loadout. Bubble, especially if you're in your damage, you get three extra ticks of might uh, damage, you know, jammed in there too. Mwah. Amazing, all right, just amazing. Vortex Trap is a must. It is, I can't stress enough. It is a must. Hold on, let me grab the mic. It is a must. Sorry, I didn't mean to do it to your ears, but I cannot stress it enough. Vortex Trap is a must when it comes to PvP, especially when we're, you know, I do healer powers. Us healer power DPS, and us healer power healers run the Vortex Trap when you're pvp -ing. If, well, as long as you're super speed too, because you kind of need it for Vortex Trap. But Vortex Trap is a must. As you see, you cannot block it. You cannot, you know, interrupt it. It is going to stun them like crazy. It is going to do a lot of damage, more than Whirl and Dervish. All right. It's just amazing right now. It is in a, such a wonderful place. And as you saw, when you go over here to super speed, it's just the next one down. So you literally get your, your go fast and it is right there. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. All right. Get your hard light shield because we are a DPS and, you know, we need extra shield just in case bubble, you know, fails us or gets, you know, taken out pretty quickly. The hard light shield it is one of the best shields in the game it has completely 100 damage mitigation and a very high you know damage pool to take out all right and then torrent because when you're using an ambulance especially in duels you definitely want to have a torrent um i'll be very hesitant and very careful to use torrent when you are in actual arenas only use this if you know good and well you use this your opponent is going to die do not use it otherwise, because as you vulnerable to interrupt means they lunge you one time, you're on your backside. And that means, you know, breaking out is going to take a lot of power from you. So, be hesitant and be careful with that. That is a damage loadout. Use it as you best see fit. I recommend that Vortex Trap, you pretty much spam the crap out of it. 
keep a shield up, especially with something like Bubble. Use Harlight Shield as a last resort because it does cost more, as you see, 300. Okay. Well, Bubble costs 300 too, but normally Harlight Shield is one of them last resort kind of things. Um, and spam Aquatic Arsenal for the most part. Use Shark Frenzy just to get a little like, burst in there here and there when you can, okay? Now, for the healing loadout, it be pretty simple, pretty basic, and pretty standard, all right? Now, you're a healer, but you're still gonna do damage. So, follow me here. You got your priority heal, because that's pretty much gonna be your best one, most cost-effective heal. A lot of times, a lot of people run a lot of duos now anyway, so this is perfect for it. All right, and this is gonna hit, well, gonna heal a lot higher than some like mending wave is for the entire group. All right, a lot of a lot of times you're gonna hit like two, three mending waves when you can just hit two of these, and you know the group, you know your alert group is pretty much gonna be good, especially if you have your souls of seas, which is next, up and running. This is incredible and amazing thing to do. Now, your hard light shield. Once again, I highly recommend. And if you are using the amulet, you can use it in healing stance too. So, just let y'all know. But if you're not using the amulet, I would take this out. And I'll definitely either put in Riptide, because Riptide is only 100 power cost. So you can, you know, do your double salsa of seeds if you want. Uh, double shield with bubble. Double hard light shield, whatever the case may be. All right. Or, Put an aquatic arsenal, you could possibly take a hard light shield if you're not struggling like that, or you know, replace that rip tie. Put aquatic arsenal in there because it does hit very hard and it's not going to reduce your damage like how um, high tide will. Now, high tide does heal you know your group members, so this can be ideal for certain case scenarios, but I like the more damage power right here with aquatic arsenal. That's just me. And my preference, um, I find it being better more times than not than Tsunami Strikes here, all right? With the little high time mechanic and everything, high time's not something you're going to really use in PvP like that, at least at this state of the game. For this trap, like I said, it's mandatory, and we're going to have Bubble there. That's pretty much it, um, and those are like the variations that I have, you know, to give y'all in terms of water, PvP, whether it be for the DPS or the healing side of things. That's pretty much all I got for y'all, okay? So go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay up to date with the channel by hitting that notification bell right there. Set it to all and not personalized or none. All right, if you set it to all, you actually get notification. If you set it to either of the other two, you ain't really finna get nothing else, okay? And you definitely wanna stay tuned in subscribe okay share the video out and subscribe when we get to a thousand i'm paying for 10 people's members to dc flat out i'm spending my own money and that's when i will start you know putting money to this game for y'all for the community okay i'm all about community y'all so stay tuned for our monthly giveaways stay tuned for that thousand subscriber you know kickback right there and look without further ado y'all look out for the next video the upcoming video that i'm gonna do i definitely have nature coming up for the loadouts there sorcery and electric already celestial and these are my water loadouts so that's all i got for y'all y'all be easy y'all be safe and shalom